Okay, we're back. Okay, I'm up at Land of Bohemia. We're doing a retreat up here. We've had so much fun. We started the medicine wheel yesterday, ceremony, and then we came over here to Land of Bohemia. Big, huge shout out to them. It's beautiful. There's the mountains. The sun is starting to go down. People pleasing. I pause. <laughs> so y'all, my connection may not be the best. Bear with me. People pleasing. So if you are the kind that's like, sure, I'll help. Sure, I'll help. Yes, no problem. Oh, sure, I could do that. I could do that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're resenting and you're burnt out and you've done everything but yourself first. That is exactly what people pleasing is all about. It really is. And so we talk about going from people pleaser to soul pleaser. Yes, big difference. Really great. She gives some tips. We talk about what happens when we get resentful and burnt out and how you can change that if that is part of your pattern. She was talking about also, too, carrying it on for her mother, carrying on generational energies and how she finally realized she needed to stop it for herself and her children. Check it out. The book is great from people pleasing to soul pleasing. Find it on all your podcast platforms. So welcome, everybody. Kika, I see you. Hey, Ernest, how are you? So we've got we've got Gina here and Lori here and Alex. Allison and mothers here as well. We've lost a few since we started, but we've had such a great day walking around and really appreciating Mother Earth, holiday weekend, really, really loving the, the elements because that's really what the Cosmic Forces is all about. Thanks to the hearts, Kika. We're coming through the last cycle of the moon of spring. So it's a really potent time. It's a really fertile time of Mother Earth and the universe. Things are growing. As the moon is growing in light, this is the opportunity for you to continue putting out all those new seeds, right? Maybe you're working on something. Maybe you want to start something new. But here we are, this last cycle of the moon up until the full moon, probably coming in next week as we move into June. And it is an opportunity to really open your heart be in alignment with Mother Earth. Put those potentials, put those seeds, that seen and unseen energy out there. Because in summer comes, summer we're going to sit back, we're going to relax, we're going to have so much fun. That's what the summer energy is about. It's also patience. <laughs> Having patience with your life, letting things grow, weeding out what isn't working. So we will be moving through that equinox. We're at the medicine wheel. We can see it. That's what the, the medicine wheel does. It shows you the past. It shows you the directions. It shows you your life and a spiritual representation on, as we have it, through rock by rock. One of the things we talked about was course correct, right? Yesterday, move a rock, course correct. That, your light. Continue putting your energy out there till we get to that full moon. And then we have the release. And they really say during that release into the transition is a great portal of energy for you to really realign. Maybe you've wandered down that path. Maybe you've gotten off your diet. Maybe you want to restart, reset. And the summer equinox, when we come to that on the 21st, can help you. So this week, we kind of start out in that Scorpio moon, move into Sagittarius. So just be careful, you know, as you go back to the work. Well, we all have a holiday here in the States. Ernest, sorry, we don't have a holiday there there's Mert Mert we gave you a shout out when we started but as you start out this week tomorrow enjoy yourself down here in the south they called it decorations day right all around otherwise it's Memorial Day kind of the unofficial start to summer right and then we'll move into some Sagittarius energy to help you dream as you move out of the last of spring into the rest of the weekend so I may have gotten that totally wrong <laughs> in terms of the moon cycle, but really nothing major going on right now. Light is building. We're moving into the increasing light of the moon. Put your energy out there. So let's just take a moment. Hey, Kat, down under, how are you? Kat, we're on holiday too. I guess y'all don't have one, but we're here for you. All right, you guys, let's take a moment and let's just bring our energy in. Let's just ground for the week. Take a moment of gratitude as well. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment. I'm going to light a little sage. We're about to light a fire here out under the moon. Have a little kakaya ceremony. So wherever you are, calling in the sacred elements, calling in the fire, calling in the air. See that smoke? Smell the space. Smell the herbs. Calling in the element of water, opening the heart. Let the elements just start to move through you. Water, calling in the energy of earth, grounding, centering. Take a nice deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just pull all your energy into you. Pull it in, pull it in. Call in your spirit. Take another deep inhale and exhale all the way down deep into the earth. 
Slowing down, centering for the week. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, just coming into the heart, right in the very center of the heart. Feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved. Take a moment as we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your own spirit guides, feeling all this energy around you, taking a moment, setting an intention for your week. See it, hear it, feel it. We've been setting intentions all week, just empowering these intentions for you right from your heart, opening up and just sending that energy out there, elevated emotions. How do you want to feel? Feel the joy, the peace, the love, centering your energy, exhaling all the way out from your heart, setting it out around you. Take another deep inhale and exhale, sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Slowing down, centering, focusing the third eye, feeling that intention in your heart. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, centering your energy. I haven't even drawn the cards. Let's see what comes up as our focus and the ways in which we can continue to maintain these intentions and this energy for you. All right. We start with the daughter of air. All right, I love this because you know what this is about, and this is great for moving from spring to summer. This is about air, it's our mind. And this daughter energy is young. It's about being curious. It's about standing in your truth, standing in your thoughts, knowing who you are. But it's got the idea of freedom, and it's got the idea, let me just try this, let me just try that. So that's a good way to open up to new ideas as you plant seeds and as you prepare for the spring. All right, guess we do the hermit card. We did a little storytelling with the tarot last night, and the hermit was one of them that came forward for us. So the hermit card is about shining your light. It's about knowing your truth, going within, look at the beautiful cloak, right? Carrying your light and knowing what that is for you. Really important right now. Instead of following everybody, what is your truth? And as you start to explore what that truth is, this is where you want to be curious about what it is that's going on for you. The Empress, we've got the goddess energy. We've got the Empress here. This is about aligning with the elements, exactly what we're doing out here. Get outside, align with this energy, all right? Spring, we're coming into, it's like, like the most potent, fertile time right now for planting energy. So get outside, feet on the ground. Look at that fertile belly, really aligning with the moon and the stars, being that, that cosmic force for your own life and your own path. Then we have the star card. Beautiful. The star card is about renewing your faith. Look up in the night. Tonight we're going to see the stars. Renew that way you are. Look how she has this beautiful transformation butterfly poised and ready to go. New inspiration, new light to carry you forward right through that next season. So be curious about your light. Open up your mind. Know your truth. Maybe if you have to do a little retreat, go within. Be in alignment with Mother Earth. Be that magical, wonderful goddess energy, witch energy, we call it too. And then realign with your power. Re be re-inspired for transformation to come forward, stepping out. Growth, growth, growth. All right, beautiful cards. I'm going to pull a card for everybody who would like cuz. All right, who would like a card? Lori. All right, Lori. Lori, we got the father of fire. So the father of fire is about really being strong in what activism you have for you. What is your passion? What is your purpose? So the father energy is like sitting there, being in this throne of energy. It's about owning it. And it's also about how people like to be attracted to what you have to offer. They want to come around you as well because they know and feel that passion within you. Let that be an influence. Allison, all right, Ernest, we're going to get there. Cat monster, love, love, love. Yes, cat, how are you in Australia? You got the nine of fire. So this is about more purpose. Nines bring in more. It's almost complete, but there's something else you need to focus in on. What is that that you need to focus in on? It's passion, desire, even your spiritual energy. So more is coming in for you to answer that question. Mother? 
Mother, you got the eight of water. So this is about abundance and emotion. And sometimes it's about also too, like not being afraid to let go of old emotions. Step over, more is coming. So you don't have to hold on to everything in the past. There is opportunity here. Eight is our abundance and water is the emotions. And it shows on the card, stepping over. There's more opportunity coming in for you. Do not be afraid to let go of old emotions. Sometimes a card comes up if somebody's asking, should I stay or should I go? It's time to go but that's not for you <laughs> not telling you that just just letting everybody else is listening all right gina brianna brianna we miss you we had so much fun at the, at the at the waterfalls today oh my god they were so amazing all right gina seven of earth gina seven is our spirituality earth is the is the physical world of your work it's telling you to go deep within Open that third eye, and what's going to come to you is where you're going to go next. All right? Grow it. Look at that third eye. So, yes, if you're searching, if you're trying to work on your business, your work, go deep within. Open that third eye. Uh, Ernest. Here you go, man. The magician. One of my favorite cards. Be that creator of your life. All the elements are on the table. Reach up into the heavens. Look at that infinite potential coming in. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Use the elements. All right. Let's see here. Cat and then Mert will get to you. Cat, ace of water. Cat, this is all about, I know you've been taking care of your health. So this is all about re-loving yourself. Bring that new energy, ace is potential, water is love. That new potential to renew that path. Exactly what we do is we come in and change seasons. Of course, y'all are opposite seasons, right? There you go. But it is a renewal of love. As you love yourself, that's what we're talking about in the book. Soul pleaser. Let go of the people pleasing, all right? Goes right along with our podcast this week. All right, got a lot of hearts on that one. Mert, we missed you yesterday. We had so much fun. Mert, you got the justice card. So this is about sitting in your throne, knowing where that balance of scales is for you. Sometimes it can be like legal documents, but it's also knowing like, for you, Mert, what I see is like you knowing like where your work is and what you need to do to keep those scales balanced. So confirmation of what has been going on for you. You did what you needed to do, balance the scales. Look at the hearts on the scales. All right. Good card for you, Mert. Excellent card. All right. Brianna, you want a card? Magician. Yes, Ernest. Isn't that awesome? Brianna, we're going to draw a card. Mert, can I pull one for Mary Jane? All right, Mary Jane, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck coming in. So where can you take a chance on yourself? Let that wheel turn. Gratitude for when it turns because it's going to turn again. So where can you use luck in your life? Take a step forward and know that the universe is on your side. I love that. All right, Brianna, Brianna, you got the full new beginnings. Yes, you do this week, so do not be afraid. You've got your tools. You've got your sacred bundles. Yes, you've got your medicine bag from yesterday. We made medicine bags, you guys. We had so much fun. Time to take a new step forward. New potential. This is at the very beginning of the tarot deck. So, yes, new beginning. <coughs> Rainbows and hearts. All right. I miss anybody? All right, you guys, we're going to have a nice little cacao ceremony. We're going to light the fire, watch the stars, maybe do some more storytelling. Next time, you come join us as well. So let's just close the energy, taking a nice deep inhale. Got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> taking a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for your path. Gratitude for your spirit and the greater spirit. Gratitude for the holiday that we have in the States, if you have one. Gratitude for showing up for you, inhaling and exhaling, sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth, returning to that intention you set and let it radiate out all around you for this week. Focus your energy, focus the third eye, bring the awareness back, coming back. All right, you guys, love reading for you. Have a great week. Definitely check out the podcast. Definitely worth listening to. Thanks for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.